Hello and welcome once again to No Man's Sky everybody, Elon Paul here with your Weekend Anomaly Mission. Hope you've, uh, hope you've had a great week since the last expedition and uh, looking forward to doing some of these Anomaly Missions in the upcoming weeks. Like I said, I'm not going to be live streaming too much in the next few weeks, uh, well, probably more than that, but we'll be getting some videos out to everybody. I've got a whole new series uh, or an idea planned for a series of regularly scheduled videos to come out in the very near future. I'm working painlessly and well I wouldn't say it's painlessly it's very painful actually trying to get the settlement videos all done. Um, got a lot of little videos I've got to put all together and uh, that's going to be coming out soon. I got another epilogue permadeath playthrough video coming out this coming Wednesday so I gave you all a break this past week next week we're gonna continue and pick up where we left off and uh, we got some other things to get done so uh, watch for upcoming videos in the next couple of weeks plus we may take a four I know this sounds really really weird but we may take a quick dive into Stardew Valley. I know that Stardew Valley isn't exactly a game that you would expect me to be playing, but it is one of those nice comfort games I've always enjoyed. Uh, I do kind of a cheater series on it. Uh, did that with my youngest kids for just a little bit, but we're going to probably taking another look into it because of all the new content they've added into it. So I may be looking into that in the upcoming weeks. Watch for that. Other things coming up, well, we'll see what happens. So that's the news for now. Um, I was going to do this as a very emotional or dramatic anomaly video, but I'm going to hold off on this on this episode. Watch again tomorrow night because I may have a video come out that's going to be very dramatic. So I'll take my other save and I'll do one more time. I'll do the uh, anomaly mission, but we're going to do an extreme drama version of it. You know, a lot of crying and whining and everything like that. So let's see what we got going on. Um, where are we here? There we go. Take a wander over to the Nexus and see what's happening. And by the way, there is some stuff in the Quicksilver vendor. We'll be taking a look at those when we're done here. But let's see what we got. I have a guess as to what it might be. Nope, it isn't what I thought. Construct an outpost is what we're going to have to do here today. So let's go ahead and get started on that. We're getting a factory override unit. That's very interesting. Something that we really can't use yet, which I find fascinating that they're offering it as a prize on this one. Not all of you will get it. You'll all get the 1800 Quicksilver, but everybody gets something different usually with the secondary item. Not to mention you're probably going to get some credits. There it is, 419,000 in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and initialize my mission, even though my credits is maxed out, so therefore I can't really do anything with them, but that's okay. And we're going to go ahead and start the mission. Let's go. Starborn Alon Paul heading for his ship, and we're going to head out of here. All crew members ready. <laughs> I love that. Terrestrial Homes, it's called. So we'll take our starboard runner and head out. So if you're wondering what this new playthrough mission is going to be, um... That I'm going to be doing. I'm going to do a new normal playthrough, right? Doesn't seem to be anything special exactly, but it's going to turn into my new main save. And I'll be using it for the anomaly missions and everything as we step through. So there'll be a lot to acquire. I won't have the credits, obviously. It'll be really new for me to get these 1800 Quicksilvers and things like that. So it'll be really, really interesting to watch the progression on that. So, all right, here we are. Uh, Sub-Zero planet right in front of us. Where are we headed? Uh, over here. So it might be this planet. Let's see how far away it is. Habitable planet? If it's seconds away when we go to... Yeah, it's going to be this planet then. So we're going to be on a very cold planet doing this. And it looks like we're on the night side. And the next time you guys see me, a lot of uh, changes will be coming up. Um... So yeah, some of my beard is going to disappear. We're going to stick with a goatee for just a little while and see how that works out. So you've been seeing my bearded face for so long now, but it's going to change. All right. Oh, we've got a landing platform right there. Isn't that cool? Um, should we take advantage of it? I think we should. Let's take advantage of it. All right. Land on the planet surface. I'm going to be begin construction now. Got plenty of ships flying around, so that's pretty cool. Maybe we could take a look at a couple of the ships as they come in for landings and stuff like that. Haulers I'm not as interested in. Some of the fighters are pretty cool on occasion, but I'm more interested in the really crazy looking fighters or exotics that might come in. That's an interesting looking ship. Maybe they'll have a solar ship come in too. And I got a shuttle over there. 
Uh, C class, 10 grand. Take a look at it real quick. Go up, and while we're at it, let's get the sun up above us so we can take a look at this guy. Oh, that's kind of a neat looking ship, huh? Red, and I wouldn't really call it white. It's more of an off white, I guess, color. Nice markings on it. I like that. That's a pretty cool looking ship, actually. Nice, nice. I love the engine outfit in the back, too. That's pretty cool. That's a good little sturdy fighter, man. So, really nice. All right, well, let's head out. Let's go ahead and get this uh, base constructed. Wink. There we go. Sorry, all my own sound effects. That's another idea for a video I might do. I might do a short that's just going to be all the sound effects are going to be me. We'll shut off the sound effects for the game, and we'll have the music playing in the background, but I'll do all the sound effects, as crazy and weird as I decide. All right, so we have to uh, deploy a base computer. Let's go ahead and get that going first. Um, wrong button. There we go. There we go. Base computer. Go ahead and drop you down. And you know what I'm going to do? I am going to delete this base computer so anybody can come here. So, no prior claims. So let's go ahead and claim the base. A big pullback. And we'll follow the instructions on what they want us to create. Alright, here we go. And as we can, as we watch, we'll see if there's any ships landing. We'll take a look at them. Another shuttle. Not interested in those. Alright, what do we need to build? A square room. Square oom. Okay. Oh, one of these. Okay, good. That's no problem. Got plenty of that. Ooh, got a nice fighter landing up there, too. Uh, where do we want to put you? Let's put you right here. And let's take a look at that guy real quick, huh, shall we? Change the sun, and let's take a look out there, huh? That way we don't have to take our character up. Blue. Nice little blue fighter I got here. Not my favorite style. Honestly, not my favorite style, but a nice little ship nonetheless. Love the engines on the back. Do like that. Okay. Not the Star Runner, of course, but hey, you know, it's okay. All right. Let's get to the next part. We need a door, obviously. So let's get a door going. A uh, specific door is it asking for? That one specifically. Okay. Very good. We need to get two curved corridors. Okay. Go back to the top. Here we go. And pure ferrite on those. So one. And, hmm, let's go that way, just because. Uh, glass cuboid room, huh? That's going to be in a different section here, I believe. Nope, it's in the same section. I must have missed it somehow. Down here? Oh, wow, yeah, okay, I forgot. Glass cuboid room. We don't have any glass on us. Okay, so we'll have to get some glass going here. Do, 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 do. So am I in my exosuit? Yes, I am. Oh, there's my refiner. Ah. Forgot I had that in there. <laughs> All right, so what do we need? We need silk. I've got a lot of runaway mold in my inventory. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. A little too much, if you ask me. What in the world am I in? Let me go back to my exosuit. I think that's in my ship. Silica powder. There we go. Let's get... I don't need 50. Let's get about... Let's get 10 for now. How about that? Alright. I'm going to get that going. Let's let that run for just a few seconds. And see what we got up here. Looks like we got another one of those guys. Looks like they haven't... Oh, they have, they have changed. Let's get another look, shall we? And up we go. Okay, those are Explorer class. Exactly the same type. Don't Not really keen on the uh, lack of symmetry. This sucker is nice. Oh, I like the needle nose here. Blue. Sweet. It's a nice looking ship, actually. Let's take a look. Uh, B class. Not bad. Not the kind of ship I would normally go for, but I do like some of these needle nose ships. They're kind of cute. Interloper, trade, yeah, 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 whatever. It's a life ship, a life form ship. There we go. It's not bad. I kind of like the dark blue of it. That's kind of kind of cool looking, kind of a midnight blue. I like that. Not really midnight. Cobalt, maybe cobalt or a dark grayish blue. I kind of like it. You have a supercharged slot on it. Comes with some nice items. Pretty good. Bet you there's an S-Class in the system some, at some point. 
Alright, let's get away from this guy. My glass should be done. It is. We'll leave the silicate in there in case we need more. Okay. Whee! Okay, cuboid room. Let's get that going over here. So we need one of these. How many do we need? Did it say we need four of them? So one, two, three, and we'll put the fourth one right here. That's fine. There we go. And we need a biodome. So let's go back up to the top. Get our biodome. There she is. We needed. Uh, we need more glass. Look at that. Go figure, huh? Uh, let's go ten more. We need three out of this one. So, yep, you're going to need some glass. Kind of keep that in mind if you have some in your inventory. I'm sure I have some in my, uh... Well, I don't know. Do I have any? I don't think I have any. Nemesis of Sleep is up there again. See any other ships? Uh, you got another fighter over there. I'm not interested in that type, though. So, I'll just bring it down. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. How are we doing? 68, 69, 70. Let's pull them out while I'm thinking of it. And let it keep going. Alright. Let's get our biodome going. Now, I, I normally would put it on top of the structure I'm on. But I'm not going to do that. We're going to see what happens. Oh, I always wanted to try to put it up here. There we go. Kind of weird looking. Okay, what do we need? It says we need something else. We need... Construct dish receptor antenna. Okay. That's you. All right, you got it. So let's put, uh, what do we need? It says we need three of these. We'll put them right in the middle here. Make it look kind of neat. One, one on the midway point over there and put one on top of this here. Right there. Okay, what else we need? Learn the twin awning, twin flag awning plans on the space anomaly, which we've already got. Correct? Do we need to do that? Hmm. Got some nice ships have landed here. What are you? A-class explorer. Do I really need to head up to the anomaly right now? Let's check things out. Ah, see, I kind of like this one. This one's a lot better. Because of the symmetry of it. I like, I like the fact that it's the same on the left and the right. That's the, what I mean by symmetry. So, pretty cool. Alright, so... Construct a hanging lamp. Let's just see what happens when I construct a hanging lamp real quick here. I can find it. There it is. Hanging lamp. I guess we gotta go inside to hang this. I could put it right on the ground in front of it. And that would be kind of weird looking, but... Alright, let's get one right here. Boink. And we need to do how many? Four of them? Oh my gosh. Give me a break. Alright. We'll put them in here then. One. One. And let's just put one right in between. I don't care where it goes. It's really weird because they don't hang high enough. Okay. Now what? It looks like I do need to head up to the space anomaly and learn the plans. Okay. So be it. You think I would have had everything, right? Alright. Set up to our ship. Uh, space anomaly, huh? Okay. I have an idea. I wonder. We can't call in the anomaly, right? Let's go ahead and head up. Let's go ahead and head up there. We'll do it this way. Doo -doo -doo. So this video is just going to be a little bit longer than I expected. Hope you don't mind. There we go. Back to the anomaly. Now this will not end your mission, so keep that in mind. Just stay away from the Nexus. Don't go in there and tell it you want to leave the mission because it'll have to start all over again. That would stink. Okay. So we've got to learn. Let me get back to this. Okay, it's in there. Yeah, we'll take the elevator. There we go. Dude.
Yeah, I got some kind of weird upgrade that, that it takes forever to burn through my running. All right, so we need to learn Twin Awning, huh? Let's see if I can find it here. There's a lot of stuff I haven't learned. There's a lot of stuff I have learned, so just keep that in mind. Twin Awnings, those are all wall flags and hanging flags, so it's not there. Twin Flag Awning, that looks like it. What makes me think I might need the quad flag? But we got everything over here now. I'm going to see if there's anything else I want. I like the pail. Hmm. Thing to do. I actually grabbed the tall bucket too while I'm at it. See, we could have wanted to creative mode to do this, but I just don't like doing that too often. When did I not get the lab lamp? That's weird. It's okay. Not really worried about it. Do do do. Just looking through real quick. It looks like I'm done through that area. Okay. Let's head out. Invisible. And we're back. Alright. A lot of new games out lately, too, for those of you who are... You know, not been playing No Man's Sky much lately. There's, there's a lot of so many new games out lately. Oh my gosh. I mean, Jason's been going nuts with them. Um, every time I turn around, he's got a new game he's highlighting, so... Definitely keep your eyes open on any interest in that area, my, my word. I get pressured by a certain individual I work with to try Outer Wilds. So I'm thinking about looking into that. And let's go ahead and take that landing space while it's available. All right. Okay, so we got it. So it wants us to do two of those. Bring it down all the way. All right, so there's our twin flag, on flag awnings. I'm actually going to put one right over the front door here. I think that'll be kind of nice. All right, and we'll put one... Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, put one right next to it. That's fine. We're not really too concerned about the placement of it. All right, what else we got? Upload base report for the Space Anomalies archives. Upload data from the base computer. Okay, so this is pretty much it. Okay, and then we can delete the base if we need to. Let's head over. Okay. Upload base. And that means it's done. And there we go. Mission complete. And you can, like it said, you can go in here and you can delete the base now. Which I'm going to go ahead and do because I want to leave this available for everybody else. So if they find this exact spot, that way my base is not cluttering up that area. I'm only allowed so many bases in the area, so, you know. Alright, back to the space anomaly. Let's go ahead and head out. Any good ships here? Got another hauler over there that just took off. Yep, I'm not seeing much of anything right now, so we will go ahead and head up to the anomaly then. All right, off we go. And where's the anomaly at? There you are. There. Divert power to engines, get there just a little bit quicker. All right, good deal. So we are in pretty good shape here. Looks like we completed it. And we're under the 20-minute mark. Not bad. So I want to say, I do want to say real quick to all my members, people who are subscribed and people who have joined my channel, thank you very much. It has been a, an incredible year. A lot of fun. And I've enjoyed the time I've spent with you all, and I appreciate you for all you've done and all the support you've given me. Um, and thank you very much. I will return, I promise. Complete mission, there we go. So we get all of our stuff. So let's check out the Quicksilver guy real quick. quick. Quickly, quick, 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 quick. And it looks like the community progress is moving along. So we've got a fluttering decal. Oh, I like those little butterfly guys. Uh, the Coleopterology. Coleopterology, I think, decal. And I like those even better. Those are my favorite uh, species because you can 
ride on those two. And finally, you get the blue system decal in, mem in remembrance of the uh, expedition that we just did. So that's really cool. All right, so good. We got some decals we can get as well. And any of your expeditions will fall under expedition rewards number three and you'll get them in here now i don't have i haven't collected everything from previous expeditions but if you go through like right now it says all items if you go to the right expedition one two i didn't get that because i've already gotten it that's very strange don't ask me three four five six and there is the omega expedition right there and you should see omega banner banner the title and i've got all these things here so i've collected everything from this expedition all right so that is that. Again, thank you all very much for watching. Appreciate it. Hit that like button, by the way. Really, That really does help the channel quite a bit. Um, subscribe if you like. We've got a lot of new stuff coming out, I promise you. A lot of new videos, new ideas. I've, have, I've got a list. Um, just got a lot of personal things that I'm taking care of on the side right now. It is spring. And spring has sprung over here. we got to get some outside work done and less time spent doing some, a little bit of the uh, streaming. But give me a, a month or so and we'll be back. We'll be back to streaming, especially when the next expedition comes around. And I have been checking, and we'll check it again right this second. I've been checking the computer in the corner for the expeditions, and I've noticed that nothing is happening. So maybe our assumption, my assumption anyway, that this is going to be choose your expedition is not actually going to happen so i don't know why i don't know if there's something that's going to happen in regards to this so maybe something else will happen there i don't know or maybe they literally will use it for people to use their main saves only to go into the expeditions themselves i don't know why that would be and that's the only time you would do it but there you are so i'm going to get in and out real quick at my save point and then we're going to wave a jaunty goodbye. And again, thank you very much, folks, for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Take care, everybody, and have a wonderful weekend.